Hi everyone, this is Elena of The Witch's Box and I'm here with the fourth episode of Witch Booktube on our YouTube channel. And I'm so excited, I can't believe that it's actually been four weeks of these videos. So it's kind of nice, it's been a really lovely uh, journey to go through all these books. Some of them for the second time, third time, and some of them for the first time. And um, yeah, I'd like to share these discoveries with you. So let's get on with it. This week, we are talking about the little book of psychic development. Do you see it? And it's kind of a little bit of a glare. It's by Melanie Barnum. And Melanie has been writing books on psychic abilities and psychic phenomenon for about 15 years, if I'm not mistaken. And I apologize, I wanted to have a list of all the books she's written, but I will list them down below for you to look at. <clears throat> I wanna read a little bit of her bio. Melanie Barnum is a psychic medium, intuitive counselor, life coach, and hypnotist who has been practicing professional, professionally for more than 15 years. She was a VIP reader at Psych Out, a gathering of the nation's foremost psychics, She organized, um, which was organized by Court TV, which is interesting. Barnum is also a certified psychic detective and is a member of the National Guild of Hypnotists and the International Association of Counselors and Therapists. You can visit her um, online website at melaniebarnum.com and I'll put that down below as well. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a little scratch. It's small. Someone actually asked, one of you asked to see a little bit of what's inside a book. So I'm gonna give you a couple of pages that you can look at. There's a table of contents, y'all. Those of you who watched last week's video know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, you can tell, as always, I'm taking notes and underlying things. But it's, you know, it's a small book, decent writing in terms of the font size, but 181 pages. Um, yeah, I've got notes everywhere. It was a really easy read, uh, very concise. She weaves practical information with her own anecdotal um, stories, which I thought was really great. Here's what I, I just wanna say it right off the bat. Everyone should have this book, straight up. That's how much I liked it. And this is why, because on Instagram, where I interact with most of you most of the time on the daily, like if you are following The Witch's Box through the website, through Facebook, through Twitter, and you're not following us on Instagram, you should, because that's really where most of the day-to-day -day conversation goes on. And I love Instagram and we just all happen to converse a lot there. There's a lot of dialogue going on in DMs. And one of the questions that I get the most, there are three or four that you guys are constantly asking, but this is the one, which is how do I develop my abilities? How do I, I know that I'm intuitive. I have some psychic you know, um, occurrences every once in a while and I just, I don't know how to control it. Like these are the questions that I get asked. How do I develop that skill? Boom, this is it. And the reason is, A, she knows what she's talking about, but B, it drives home the thing that I keep talking about over and over and over again, which is, it's about the practice. Energy is a language, psychic ability is a language, intuition is a language, and if we're not in that language on the regular, it's a muscle that atrophies. Every witch needs to have a firm practice and foundation in these skills because ultimately, it, it helps us and supports us in having and gaining more mastery of our lives. It supports us in developing better skill and proficiency in our magical craft. It helps and supports us in healing those parts of us that we have a hard time dealing with. This is the true story. I cannot stress this enough. These are just basic skills that you don't just practice a couple of times and then boom, you're done, you have it. This is like an ongoing lifetime practice that we have to nurture. I mean, you don't have to, but if your goal is to continue to develop in your spiritual life and your craft practice, it's about that, it's about practice. So she has got, I didn't actually count and I should have, but she's got great um, exercises to do that actually build on the last one. So she takes you in a really great progression from the most simplest and the very basic, and she continues to, um, take each exercise that she talks about and shares with you to a deeper level of skill. That's why I think this book is great. There are countless, countless, countless books on developing your psychic abilities online, in bookstores, throughout history, but this is a really, really good foundation. It's a really great place to start 
And I would even venture to say that if you had this book and did these practices for the rest of your life, you would gain quite a lot of growth. Truly, like I can't overstate that enough. And this is what I also wanna say. This isn't like a magic bullet, right? This isn't like you take a potion and boom, you are psychic. These things take practice and they take work. And often when we read these exercises, they sound so totally mundane, right? We want something flashy, we want something glittery. It, it, meditation is kind of mundane, right? You gotta sit there and do the work. And it's not all about meditation, but that's at the foundation of it, right? Like the more time that we spend internally, kind of mapping out our internal terrain, the more we learn it. I mean, this is the core of what we do because the more we learn that internal language, the more we are aware of how the external energies interact in that landscape, how we form that energy in that landscape and then create that outside of ourselves. Get it, I'm telling you, get the book. And yeah, kudos to her. I would really love to investigate some of her other books. They're all, I think, I don't wanna say this for sure, but I am pretty sure that all of her books are around psychic abilities and psychic phenomenon. So it'd be great to really check out the rest of what she has. So look down below. I've got link to the book, link to a bunch of other stuff. Um, if you've read it, I would love to hear what you thought. If you're going to read it, if you did read it or you're gonna be reading it, let me know, I'd love that. And a couple of you are starting to send me um, recommendations for other books to read. Keep those coming, I love that. I totally love that and I will add them to my massive pile of books that are waiting to be read. But it's also super therapeutic for me, you guys. I can't even tell you that it's been really wonderful having to just take some time out and sit down and read. So it's been really enjoyable for me. Until next week, um, I hope that you have a magical week and we will talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye.